Hello again, everybody. This is GearWire's series of educational videos exploring the features of the Reaper Digital Audio Workstation from the Cocos Corporation. This video is looking at the routing, audio routing features that are present in Reaper. Routing is, of course, the art and science of getting your audio from and to wherever you happen to need it to get from and to. And one of the greatest uh, advantages of using a digital audio workstation as opposed to a hardware um, console is that the opportunities to send audio uh, hither and yon are much greater inside a digital environment than they are in a hardware environment. So we're going to take a look at uh, just the beginnings of uh, some of these features. We're going to take a look at this project that we have loaded up here. This is just a uh, small rock project. It's got some drums here on channel 1 and 2. It's got some guitar on channel 3 and some distorted bass on channel 4. So let's see what we got here. Now, one of the things that we might want to do is we might want to actually send the bass over to the drums for processing in place. There are some situations where you would want to do this if uh, you wanted to experiment with a mix and send the bass into, uh, the dr into a drum channel and then compress both of them together and use that as your final print, um, you may end up with a uh, better sound. So in order to actually get this uh, bass here on channel 4 into channel 1, what we do is we select the I.O. button on the bass channel, which is right here. Uh, the I.O. buttons are all present on every channel. And just select the I.O. button. And we can see here that there's a series of options that we can take. Uh, one of which is uh, for MIDI hardware. This is not what we want, but uh, you can send MIDI hardware. You can send output from any of your channels to any MIDI hardware that you have. You can send back to MIDI channels inside of Reaper. You can also receive uh, any uh, audio from any channel to any channel. But we're going to actually send the bass up to the uh, drums channel here. So under sends, we're going to add a new send, and we're going to say send this bass to channel 1, which is named O2 Hard Groove 130 Drive. Now we've done this, and what, what has happened is that the uh, bass has actually increased in volume a little bit uh, to our, uh, to our um, main monitor, because there's actually, we're hearing the channel twice, once in its original channel and once up here in channel 1. We can uh, change the uh, fader uh, position here that is thrown up on the send, and reduce the bass that way. Actually, let's uh, spell out really what's going on by soloing the drum track that we just sent the bass track to. Now we can hear the drums and the bass together, and we can hear the relative levels of the send if we actually play with the fader, the send fader right here. Another great thing about Reaper is not only is all this stuff wide open and obvious to you, but it's also uh, pretty flexible. I can choose whether the send shows up in the uh, track as post fader or post effects or pre effects, uh, which is great for situations where you want to have uh, pre effects. Uh, also, the other option here is that uh, you can send any uh, audio that's rolling on any channel uh, to any hardware output that is present in your setup. And right here, we just have a couple because I'm uh, running on a fairly modest system here. So that's just some of what Reaper can do in terms of routing. You can watch further Reaper videos that we produce here at GearWire for more information about how to master the routing effects in Reaper. Thanks for watching. This has been a GearWire.com video.